Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for joining in. This is a wealth building channel, so we talk about money, investments, retirement. We talk about careers, gig work, your own business. We talk about, we have some study guides in between, mostly for tech right now. Project manager, if I can come up with any other study guides for certifications that we could do on this channel, I was sure take them into consideration. I mean, we can't do everything on this channel because some things you got to go in and actually do it. Um, like nursing, medical, electrician, plumbers, they all have certifications to do things. It seems like almost every profession has some kind of sort of even teachers have certifications. So we can't do all the certification study guides on this channel, but we will sure help you out as much as we can. So right now we're on our cryptocurrency study. And we've already done a lot of videos on these and we're going to have a lot more because this is our next wave of money that's coming up. Within the next decade or two, it's going to become a common thing, and you can't be afraid of it. Knowledge is power. You need to get educated. This includes myself, by the way. That's why I'm doing doing these. I educate myself as well. I'm going off this screen. You will hear me in the background. Um, so some of the stuff that we have already covered, and if you have missed it, you'll need to go back, review the other videos. We have already discussed Bitcoin, um, all the other popular ones that are out right now, which I can't even think off the top of my head. And that's sad. I can't think of it. I also wanted to tell you that I'm getting my where I'm getting my information. I'm not just get googling this stuff. I'm actually getting it from different financial institutions and the resources that come from the top people, okay? So I'm not just making this up. I'm giving you information that is real, that will help you. And I get my notes here. That will help you and not lead you in the wrong path. So there's two popular Bitcoin, Bitcoins or crypto right now and I also talk about decentralized and centralized stable coins and Bitcoin are the two most popular and all, all these other videos I'm not going to repeat all this again because I talk about it in another video I'm just letting you know that if you're interested in learning this if you want to see what some of the transactions look like how you can manage them you need to go back and watch some of the videos that I have not just the slides slideshows but I mean the actual videos that break it down and show you what blockchains look like what the centralized networks look like um, explain how to read the transactions all these types of things the more you understand it the less you'll be afraid of it but again there's still a lot of risk involved in this and that we got 11 percent currently as of July 2022 that are using crypto and most likely it's the wealthiest of the wealthy because they can afford to take a risk like gambling and lose some money um, by taking chances so they can probably afford to do that but us middle class and poor class people that work every day trying to survive cannot afford to be taking these kind of risks so there's still a lot of work to do in this system and one of my last videos for July of 2022, we're going to talk about, now the last one, I, the last video I did, we talked about taxes, okay? Um, so, so you need to go back and watch that video if you missed it. I might put taxes in the um, subject line so you can look at it. It just goes over some of the rules for taxes, the form number, the things you can do to keep from giving the IRS all your money. And today we're going to talk about some scams. 
because this is another one of the risk, right? So uh, a lot of the risk right now is hackers, of course, um, people stealing your, going into the not having protection. And there is also the government is working on getting things regulated. So um, to keep, keep these kinds of things from happening as much, kind of like a bank. Because um, also we talked about retirement. Who may take, you know, who, who currently takes crypto and you can invest it in your retirement account? Who does, who is not, and who might in the future, you know? Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit today about scam alerts in this video because that is another one of the risks. Fraudsters follow the money and the trends. And crypto provides plenty of opportunities right now. And this is why a lot of us middle class and poor are like so, um, even wealthy people, because I know a lot of wealthy people, older Americans, I can't speak for the rest of the country, but older Americans who have worked very hard all their life are not going to be putting... Um, their money into something where somebody can just come in and take it. So these are a lot of the issues and the risks that we have right now. And that's why people are reluctant to do this, including myself. But so we still have a long way to go, but you definitely want to get educated on it. Learn as much as you can about it. And then if you're willing and you have, you know, a little bit, you can start investing into it without losing. If more you understand it, the less you'll be afraid of it and um, you can try it out. But though you need to get educated first, find out where to put your transactions so people can't steal them. You know, you need to find out with a tax advisor or a financial planner on where to put it at so the IRS can get all of it. All of it just like regular money, you know, you need to do your homework. You don't just go out and start investing in things you don't understand. Uh, unlike the U.S. dollar deposited into a bank account, crypto transactions don't come with legal protection as of now, and they typically are not reversible. Okay, so this is coming from a certified digital asset advisor, and that could be a good job, or a good career field, or even a side hustle for some for people who are watching this channel. Uh, and we're always looking for more jobs or careers to get into. That could be the, one of the future ones. Get educated on this. Become a certified digital asset advisor. Maybe I'll look into that myself. And we can do vis videos on that as a career. All right. To avoid some scams, you want to stick with major platforms for investing and exchanging your crypto. And if you never heard of a crypto-related app or website, then you don't use it. Um, before engaging with a seemingly well-known app or website, you need to make sure it's not an imitator with a similar domain name. And it's just like the HTTPS thing where they go and they'll change one little thing in the um, website and throw you off. And before you know it, you've given all your money to somebody else. This is just like the internet when it first came out and everybody was freaking out about certain things, doing things online, shopping online. And you see how we've progressed um, with a lot of these. I mean, occasionally still one gets through, but for the most part, um, we don't have as much of that anymore because people are more comfortable doing shopping online. And it's the same with the crypto thing. So... Um, I might look into becoming a certified digital asset advisor myself. That's a big handful for a title. So if you're sending crypto to somebody else, you need to make sure that you know who the recipient is and that you're using your right wallet address because that's one of the things you need to learn about is a wallet address. So we'll talk about that in future videos, but that is a um, one of the things you need to understand and so that you're not losing your money, which is typically a long string of letters and numbers. And I actually have um, demos on some of these on my videos where you can actually see some of the transactions and the addresses that shows you 
how to read some of this stuff. So also you need to use two-factor authentication with your crypto exchanges and wallets whenever possible. You never need to share your private key or your password, just like a lot of the internet stuff. When you go online for your banking, a lot of these um, things uh, occur. So it's the same kind of thing for crypto. And um, just keep stay tuned to this channel, and we will go more into depth in this in the future. I plan on trying to do this one once a week, going over um, current money trends, and crypto is definitely one of them. So that's it for this video. I'm only going over crypto cons on this video, scams and cons, things to watch out for. I appreciate everybody watching, coming back. Let me see if I have anything else. Oh, there we go. Going up. We are going up as we learn more about this. See how many people stay till the end of this video. I think I'm going to start uh, offering Amazon gift cards for anybody that stays till the end of my videos. Because I know I lose some of you around two or three minutes. Okay. Please come back and visit me again. Thank you all.